Good morning, fancy friends. Welcome, happy Tuesday. Thanks everybody for joining me today. Come on in, grab your coffee, grab your tea, grab your breakfast. Come on in and join me this morning. If you're watching this and you don't see that red live button up there in the corner, that means you're watching on the replay. And if you are, if you could just put in the comments, Hashtag replay so I know you're watching and I can come in and say hello to you. And also, even if you're watching on the replay, let me know you're new so I can welcome you to our page and um, welcome you to be a fancy friend. Hello, Lois. How are you? Thank you, everybody, for joining me today on this beautiful Tuesday here in New Jersey where I am. It's still a little chilly, overcast. I hope it's sunny and warm by where you are. Thank you so much for joining me on my segment with Craft Around the Clock. If you do not belong to the Craft Around the Clock page, up above, I tag Craft Around the Clock. You can open it up and you can find the place to join. And it's a free group and you can watch us creators 24-7, seven days a week. Whoa. Hi, Shirley. Hello, Pam. Hi, hello, fancy friends. Thank you. Yes, get those hearts going. So some of our fancy friends that are not getting the notifications from Mr. FB will get them. Hello, Dawn. How are you? Thanks for joining everybody. You guys are amazing. Thank you for putting the hearts out there. Hello, Stephanie. Good morning, everybody. Here in New Jersey, it's 10 o'clock Central Time. It's still it's early, 9 o'clock. And boy, if you're on the West Coast, you're probably still in bed watching me. Hey, Cindy. Hi, Pat. How are you? My friend Mara is probably still in bed. Hello, Elizabeth. And the Velveteen Rabbit is here. Hello, Velveteen Rabbit. All right, so let me show you what we're going to do today, guys. Hello, Margaret. I am so glad you're on here, Margaret, because I'll be using uh, the, the um, bank journal page you gave me. Yay, I'm glad you're on, Margaret. Hello, Felicia. Hello, Jackie. All right, so let me show you what we're going to use today. Guys, I, this is new to me. I saw somebody the other day. I don't even know who it was. I don't even know if it was on YouTube or Facebook or even if it was on, maybe it was on TikTok. Who knows? Um, they were saying when you get these in the mail, hello, Terry, um, and Elizabeth, when you, when you get these in the mail, these kind of, um, letters with the, I don't know what you call it, this clear film here, save those. You can use a lot of stuff with like junk journaling with this clear film, right? Then I saw somebody actually make something out of the whole envelope. And I said, let me share that with you because that looks so much, like so much fun. And everybody, you, everybody, you, I know you're all lucky enough to get these in the mail. <laughs> Hi, Barb. Hi, Mary, Ocean Breeze and me. Um, I know everybody gets these. And what do you do with them after you take the stuff out? You go like this, you rip them up and you throw them away. So let's make something with this today. Hello, Chris. Thank you for sprinkling. I so appreciate it. Hey, Barbara. So when you get these in the mail, save them, guys. And then we're going to be doing some crafting, I don't know, soon. I'm not just with this clear stuff. So save them. Hello, Lisa Hawkins. All right, so let's get started with this. All right, so what you want to do is you want to open it up just like that. Um, I just cut the lip off of it. Hey, Jackie, good morning. Hey, Luann, how are you, my sweet friend? Hello, Anne. Thanks so much for joining me and Shirley. We got Shirley watching. All right, so let's get going. Um, so what you want to do, okay, so get your get your glue gun. Yes, I had a great time in Texas. Look, guys, Vincent Soul Sisters. I have my shirt on. I love my shirt. And the beautiful necklace that Tracy gave each and every one of us. I love it. Hello, Susan. So I'm I am absolutely loving. Loving everything. We had a we had an amazing, amazing trip. Hopefully next time I when I go, I can stay a little longer with those with those gals, but I had a great time. I had a great time. You know, I had to get home a little bit earlier for my nephew's graduation, but um next time I will stay longer. All right, so let's get going with this. Um let's see. So wait, get your glue gun ready. Um you need your now I just use I got Elmer's Craft Bond Extra Strength glue sticks and we're ready to go. Am I rested, Mary? I don't know. Yesterday, about 4.30, I started fading. And I usually don't do that. So I don't know if I'm still, I'm still tired or not. But I don't know if it's just old age. All right. So let's get going. So what you want to do is you want to take your paper. And guys, can you see me? Maybe I should scoot myself down a little bit because you don't need to see me. You need to see what I'm doing here. All right. So you want to just take your paper and push, put it all the way. If you can see what I'm doing, fold it just like that, up to the actual, that clear little window right there, okay? So you wanna do that, fold it, just like that, and then you just wanna glue it down. Oh, I hope my, you can glue it, you can probably, you probably actually just use your glue stick too. Either one will do. 
doesn't really matter. All right, so let's just get that stuck down. It was a whirlwind trip for you. It sure was, Mary. <laughs> that it was. That it was. All right. So then what we want to do is you want to just take a book. You know how everybody has all these old books around, right? Thank you, Denise. Just like that. And just find yourself a page that you want to tear out. Just like so. All right. You can get these. You can find these all over the place. I, but I like to find them when they really look aged. Guys, look at how aged that looks. Isn't that amazing? Hello, Vicky. Hey, Peggy. Um, so the, the more aged it looks, um, the better I like it. If it's not so aged, you can always age it up by, you know, guys, using the archival ink. But I like when it's already aged itself. All right. So then you just want to tear it. All right. So you just go like this and you just want to tear it a little bit. This is super duper simple, easy to do. All right, there we go. Let me see. Good morning, Kathy Harris. Hey, Janet. Thanks for coming on, guys. I hope everybody had a had a great Monday. I was so thrilled to be back on with all of you ladies yesterday. It was, I felt back, back at home again. Hello, Vicki. Thanks for coming on. And then you know, we just want to, might want to tear a little bit of the edge if it's, because what you're going to do is you're going to put it on here. So you kind of have to sort of, sort of-ish make it fit. There we go. And Kathy Funk is watching. And Betty, thank you for sprinkling. I appreciate it so much. And actually, uh, there we go. I have one I tore out already and I think it fits better. So I'm just going to use that one. Same book. But what I think what I'm going to do is, even though it's aged out a little bit, you know me, guys, with my just ground espresso. Let's, let's just age out the edges a little bit more. Hey, Deborah, how are you? Thanks, everybody, for coming on. Good morning. I hope you all got your tea. I'm already, I'm, I already had a lot of hot tea. I'm already on my iced tea. <gasps> oh. You should see me when I was down in, um, I'm a big, huge iced tea fan. You should see me down in Texas. Where can I get some iced tea? They had really great iced tea in Waco at the silos. Oh, they had, a, they had a sweet tea truck. Now, I don't like sweet tea. It's too sweet. I just like plain tea without sugar. But, um, boy, was it delicious. Oh, my goodness. It was so good. So, so good. Hey, Jennifer, good morning. How are you, Jennifer? <laughs> Thanks for coming on. You're not at work yet, are you? You're not working yet. All right, so see what I did? And it kind of just, it just kind of highlights the paper if you edge it out a little bit. All right, so let's keep this here because we're gonna be using that a lot. And let's, um, I'm just taking my glue stick, just like so. And let me get, let me get a piece of paper towel. Even though, you know, I did a resin pour on here and it's really holding up wonderfully. Uh, I still like, I still like to put my paper down. Why I get glue and everything all over it? All right, so let's glue this down. Your computer's giving you a fit, Jennifer. Oh no! Oh boy, if it's giving you a fit, you might have to take the day off. <laughs> if you don't have sweet tea in the house, you're in trouble. Oh, Janet, I'm telling you, I'm the same way. If I don't have tea in the house, whoa. I will, even if I'm dead tired, I will go out and get some. I will go, I have a Dunkin' Donuts that is like a mile and a half from my house. <laughs> so I go to my Dunkin' Donuts. They know me there. All right, so let's just put that down just like that. And there we go. And let's just, there we go. We got our first piece down like that. Look how cool. So remember there was a little bit of writing here in the corner that was on the envelope. And now it's covered up. <gasps> Look how cute. And now let me show you this. We had a, I have a we have a wonderful, wonderful, fancy friend. Her name is Margaret, and she sent me I don't even know how many papers. This was in an original bank ledger, guys. Look at this original bank ledger. Can you see this? And it says, let me tell you the. It says 1860. 18. Let me see if you, maybe you can see this better. I'm trying to find um, where you can see. Oh gosh, look at this, guys. Let me see if you can see it. 18. 1859 1859 how cool is this guys isn't that the coolest thing so margaret had this and she sent me i don't even know maybe 50 sheets of it 
and I knew we could use it in projects and I just think that it is the coolest thing ever. It's got the date where people made their deposits. We have, let's see, and there's the, the names of the people on here. This one's Dr. Somebody. And, and let me tell you, nobody has such beautiful, hand, look at the handwriting guys. Nobody has beautiful handwriting like this anymore. I know Jennifer, isn't that amazing? It's just amazing. And the handwriting is just like, wow. And this is here is April. We got December, October, November. It's just beautiful. Just gorgeous. So thank you, Margaret, again. Mwah. I appreciate it. Um, it's just amazing. All right. So I just tore a piece of paper out of it. Can you see? <gasps> Look how cool that is. It's got the, it's got the dates on there. So we're going to be finding a lot of uses for this beautiful paper. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing. And we're gonna take our glue stick. Good morning, Tamara Designs. How are you? Hello, Janet. Guys, if you are a business and you have a business link, put it in so we all can follow each other. Um, I don't mind that. I don't mind. I don't know if some other people do on their pages, but not me. We are all here to help one another and support one another. And um, please put it in. All right, so I thought this would be pretty right here. Oh, how cool is that going to be? There we go. Let me just put that down just like that, right on top of there. Look how cool, guys, the ledger. <gasps> Thank you so much for sprinkling. I appreciate you. Thank you so, 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 so much. Okay, Justin, that looks really, really pretty. Then we are going to put... Now, we're going to get... Um, now, these I just printed. Guys, just use what you have. If you've got some... Look in, you could just look in magazines and um, all kinds of stuff. You don't have to print things out, but I printed these out on, um, kind of from Etsy. Gosh, they were like 99 cents. I'm telling you, I don't spend a lot of money for stuff I'm printing out um, like that, but um, they were like 99 cents to print them out on Etsy. And it's just sheets like this. And I'm just gonna cut a piece out here and put it over here, but they're really pretty. I thought they're very vintagey looking. Hey, Lori, hey, Susie. Good morning, Susan. Tuesday blessings. Thank you, Shirley. Susan Shirley. Isn't that pretty? So anyway, so I just cut out a piece. Now what I did was, I just want to give it a little bit more interest. So we're just gonna cut, cut use pinking shears. Look at that. Pinking, they're so huge. Do pinking shears come smaller than this? I don't know, but this is what I have. So I just thought, give it a little bit more interest than just, you know how we usually just tear the pages. So we're just gonna go like this, just like so. And let's see, good morning, Kathleen. Hi, Dana, love those Etsy prints. I know, right, some people are, they have beautiful work. They do gorgeous, gorgeous work. There we go. So, I mean, look at that. And see how, when it's all like that, it just makes it so, so pretty when you when you do it with the pinking shears, I think. And it just gives it a little bit more um, interest on, on there. So, oh, that one's a little bit big. All right, so this one we're going to save for another project, but I did one before. Because remember, we're on Crafter on the Clock, and we are um, crafting on the clock. So I just want to make sure I had enough time to finish the project. So I already cut one out for you just like that. Look at, look at the, with the flower on it. Isn't that pretty? And we're just going to put that right, right about there. All right, so just get your glue stick again, and we're going to glue it down. Oh, everybody who like my tree. Thank you. We are in the patriotic mood now. Guys, remember, if you want to send in an ornament for the tree, I would love it. Just private message me. I'll send you my address. Um, and when it gets to a couple of days before Memorial Day, we will. Um, I will do a prize for drawing for whoever sent in, in an ornament. But look, 4th of July. Well, Labor Day, 4th of July. It's going to be a little bit of everything. All right, so let's put that on right there and just stick that on. There we go. Look how cute already. Whoop. Glue string. Look how cute already. Right? Adorable. Adorable. All right, so we're going to do the same thing right down in here. And we're going to cut out a piece of... Let me see. Is that going to fit? All right. Before I do that, we're going to... I'm going to... I want to put a piece of... Um, the book paper down here so it's not so white looking we're gonna edge all this out though don't worry ladies uh let's see 
I don't know. Let's just take a piece of the book out. Hold on. Let me get my book. And we're going to take a piece out. Good morning, Carol. Hey, Melba. Thanks for joining everybody. And thank you for the hearts. I appreciate it. I'm looking through this like like uh, people are really going to be reading like what um, the words say. It doesn't really matter. Nobody's going to see the words. Just rip it out, Kim. All right. This is, I don't even know, this, the story of love behind a throne. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What year is this book? Oh, 1901, guys. 1901. Oh. Just love old things. Just love old things. Oops. Got two pages by accident. All right. And let's just put some of the old paper down. All right. So this... I'll tell you, the old books, boy, they tear so easily. They're almost like confetti, how they tear. All right, so we're going to put this down here. Just like so. And let's just tear it. And I'm going to edge it out also, just like I did the other paper. There we go. Just like that. And tear the edge, just like this. And who we have here? Hey, Kathy. Good morning, Alice. Thanks for joining this morning. Love spending the morning with you ladies. It's so nice to start our day off together, isn't it? <gasps> thank you, thank you. Thanks so much, I appreciate it. Okay, so there we go. All right, so we're just edging that out again. Now my favorite is the Ground Espresso. Vintage Photo is nice too, ladies, I, but this Vintage Photo is a little bit lighter than Ground Espresso. And I don't know, I just feel like it edges out, makes the edges stand out a little bit more with the Ground Espresso. That's all. Hello, Mary, and we got Bobby on. Thanks, everybody. There we go. And let's see. Yep, that's better. Ah, all right, and this needs to be torn just a little bit more. And let's edge it out. Show us your necklace. Oh, Kathy, you didn't see the necklace? Oh, look at this. We had a swag bag, and Tracy put this in the swag bag for each of us. Can you guys see it? Vintage Soul Sister. Isn't it so pretty? Oh, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I'm going to wear it when we're on here. I just love it. Sarah, forget the chores. Just go craft. <laughs> oh, listen to me. I'm telling you guys, don't do your chores. <laughs> go craft. Go have some fun. The chores will be there tomorrow. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right, so let's put that on there just like that. I know sometimes I come in my craft room and I lose all track of time and before you know it, I'm like, I didn't even start dinner yet. I know, isn't the necklace so pretty? Oh, Tracy is, she's even more sweeter and wonderful in person. If you can, if that can even be possible, guys. If that can even be possible. I just wish I got to spend more time with everyone. But next time... Um, I will. All right, there we go. But I did what I wanted to do. I wanted to go meet the ladies, hug their necks, and um, love on them all, and I did. So mission accomplished. All right, so I just put that down, just like so. There we go, guys, look. <gasps> How pretty is that, right? What do you put on glass before painting? I use um, slick stick. That's my to go to. Well, I have it in a. <laughs> I have it in this, but I use slick stick by Dixie Bell. That's the one that I find works the best to um, make uh, paint adhere to glass. So I use slick stick. Um, I started out furniture painting and using Dixie Bell products, and I just found out. I just found that that worked the best. So, good morning, Jane. All right, while I have this out here, let's get the rest of this going, too. Let's, you need to, there we go. See how we're edging out? We got to edge out the rest of it, too, while I got that out there. Yeah, so I like stick, slick stick, um, even if, you, if you're doing your, um, the silver trays, um, just to make sure that the paint sticks on there. Um, I don't, I think there's some other ones out there, but if you're asking me, what do I use? That, that is it. That's what I use. Now there should be a retailer. 
You can find out if there's a retailer in your area. If not, you can find it on Amazon. And I do have my Amazon link down below. And I do, do appreciate you ladies using my Amazon link. I just do, I get a very, very small percentage of whatever you buy. And it just helps me keep my business going. So, and I do, uh, I, it doesn't go unnoticed. I do see you late. I don't know who's buying, who's buying, but I do see you using my link. And I do so, so appreciate you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you for using my Amazon link. Okay, there we go. There we go. So now look at it. See? Oh, so pretty. All right, guys, we're not done yet. Oh, my goodness. Right, let's turn this over. All right, so now let's put a... Um, Let's put some more of this. Where is it going? Here it is. Okay, we're going to use more of this. And let's get our pinky shears. Let's do the same. And let's... Okay, so let's get, get some words there. And that says, I don't know, carriage goods. I don't know. We're going to put that on there. And let's, let's put that on across there. I haven't used pinking shears in forever, guys, right? I usually tear my paper, but I thought that this would give a lot more interest. So let's use them. And when you ever use pinking shears, to me, it, it reminds me of, uh, like, old-fashioned. <gasps> Look at that. There we go. So, right? Isn't that pretty? Well, that's going to go across there, just like so. Actually, a little bit too much. Let's take a little bit more off the top here. Now, this would be great to put into a junk journal, things like that. Now, I haven't done junk journaling yet. Um, I'm hoping and hoping to get into it more. Um, but this, to me, I can put in my tier trays um, at some interest, um, put a hole in there, make it a tag. Um, you can do a lot of things with it than just, um, than just junk journaling, guys. But um, I've been looking and I've been liking some of that junk journaling stuff. Good morning, Mary. How are you? Guys, are you interested in junk journaling? Let me know. Tell me in the comments. What's your thoughts on junk journaling? Would you like to see more of it? Um, let me know. There we go. Okay, put that down just like that. And look guys, look how cute. <gasps> Isn't that adorable? So pretty. Carol says she loves junk journaling. I know, it's. I'm, I've been watching a lot of the creators do it and um, I've just been, um, I've been just loving it. All right, so now, of course, you know, we've got to put some lace there. Now, I'm not sure. I love, this is one of my favorite laces from, yeah, Hobby Lobby. It's one of my favorite laces from Hobby Lobby. Isn't that so pretty? This one you find in, this one you find in um, where they have the material, guys. Mary, you love it, but you need to get better at it. Yeah, me too. I, I'm just starting out. Right, right, Margaret. Paper crafting, you know, is you can you can make it out of anything you have. This is just this is just envelopes that I got from out of the mail. Now look at this. This had a big this envelope had a big screen. <laughs> right? So I'm gonna be able to do something with that. So save your envelopes, guys. Save them. You have no Lois says she has no idea what junk journaling is. Boy, um it's where you take junk <laughs> pieces of paper and you make it into something beautiful so um you could just uh, if you if you belong to youtube push in junk journaling and i'm um, telling you you can find tons and tons and tons of stuff about that there we go and then we have this lace too guys and this is also you could find this in the um section where the material is and those are my two favorite all right so i'm not sure if i want that one i think i want you know what this one covers up the um the words on here, so I think I just want to use this one because then you could still see the words. All right, so let's cut this. There we go. And there we go, right there. There we go. All right, and then we're just going to glue this. Now, I'm going to glue the lace down with uh, my hot, with my my hot glue only because um, I don't think it's gonna hold well with that. 
All right, so let's, and you just need a fine strip, not a lot. One thing I forgot to get out is I forgot to get out my little flowers. Yes, Dana. Oh my gosh, my friend um, Grace at the Comfy Nest, she is amazing at it. Guys, if you don't follow my friend Grace at the Comfy Nest, go follow. If you're interested in junk journaling and paper crafts and stuff like that, um, she's wonderful. So go follow her. And she's also a craft around the clock presenter. Maybe she's going to be on today. I don't know. But um, I looked at the schedule, but I didn't look close enough. Mary Lou, you've been missing my lives. Oh my goodness, you have to get on my telegram. So this way um, you will get a no notification when I come live. Oh, look, look. look guys, look how pretty that, see now you can see, you can see the writing through it. Can, isn't that so pretty? Look at it guys, this is an envelope. Holy smokes, right? This is an envelope. All right, so now um, because this opens, right? Now you can add something in there to show through there. So I this is a this is a bunch of Tim Holtz. It comes in a package. Now I wish I saved the package, um, but I it's it's in my Amazon store. Um, but I know you guys have seen these where it's just a bunch of different. Um, like look at this little little cards. Look how pretty that is, and these are great to have to add to your projects it even has oh my gosh guys do you remember guys do you remember this this looks like my <laughs> this looks exactly like my report cards we used to get right look reading writing geography oh my goodness grammar i don't think kids get report cards like that anymore designs by dina is a great one to follow oh okay good thank you Dan dana i did not know it she's sweet She's a friend of mine too. But look, guys, who remembers report cards like that? No, Lois, it's um around the edges. This is what I used. Archival ink in Grand Espresso. And let's see. Oh, okay, I'm missing the comment, guys. Somebody said something about my tree, but I'm sorry. I know, Sally, you do, right? This looks like my report card, except it would say um, Our Lady of the Valley <laughs> Grammar School. <laughs> I would say Our Lady of the Valley. Oh, how cool is that? We're gonna, I'm gonna use this one day. I didn't even re re realize that that was even in there. How cool is that? But this one's a, this one is a really good one. They have really pretty things. Um, and then they have these in there. <gasps> I do, my grandmother gets printouts now. Oh, good. Chris remembers report cards. My son doesn't get, you know, when he, well, he's in college now, but in, in high school, in grammar school, they didn't get report cards like that. Look at that. And now you get them online and then you send them back. Is that crazy or what? Did that say Oklahoma City? I'm not sure if it did or not. Did it? Ah, oh, I don't know which one that was. Uh, this one says, this one says Philadelphia, but... Anyway, so one of the ones I was thinking about putting in there, um, this is another one that was, look at this one with just with the butterflies, guys, right? Good morning, Linda, how are you? Mine always says talk too much. Who says you talk too much, Mary? There's no such thing. This is what we are all here for. You know, if, I don't know, if somebody thinks I talk too much, then maybe, I don't know if I need to find some page where, no, where we don't, somebody doesn't speak too much. But uh, now I have to cut it, but don't you think the butterflies are going to look pretty in there? So let's cut that. It doesn't, I need to cut over here, but I need to make sure that it's going to fit right. So let me see. And mm, let me see. So let's just cut it a little bit and then we'll, and we'll see how it fits in there. Oh, she kept your report card? Oh, how great is that? <gasps> how wonderful. I don't have any room. I remember my report cards being like that, but I don't have no idea what my mom did with them. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Her report card said she talked too much. Okay, Mary. Oh, my God. That's okay. <laughs> oh, Lord. That's funny, because that's what my uh, son's report cards used to say, too. That 
that, that he talks too much. <gasps> but my son was, when son was in um, kindergarten and first grade, he said he was a little too chatty, which was a nice way to say, you know, young kids, right? And then as he got older, it got worse and worse. Oh, my report card, it said I talk too much. Oh, come, that's so funny. But look, guys, there's another cute look out of the window. I talk and laugh and have a big time just how I am now, right? Marlene, how great is that? Marlene, you should make some projects out of that, out of your report cards. But look, that looks really cute in there, right, guys? That looks adorable in there. So you can put anything you want inside there. Anything you want. Now, I want to add a little bit of flowers here. Um, talks amongst yourselves. I'm going to be one second. I just have to go right there and get my flowers. Hold on, ladies. I will be right there. Um, or, let me just get my flowers. Here we go. And I got them. They are right here. Thank you. <gasps> Talk too much. You didn't use my time wisely. Oh, boy. I think that was most of us, right? <laughs> You're just having fun with your friends in school. <gasps> and she still does at 47. Hey, I think you are what you are from when you when you first start school. You know what I mean? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, my son was like, first he, he was a little too chatty, and then he talks too much. Then, you know, he's got to learn how to be quiet. <laughs> Oh my God. You love the butterflies in the window? Me too. It's so cute. So this was, like I said, this comes in a bundle like this. This is um, Tim Holtz. He's got a bunch of bundles like this, guys. I just, the next time I get these things, I will put the name of the, what it is. But I do, it's in, you go, if you go on my link tree, hit Amazon, go into Tim Holtz section of it, you will see a, um, you'll see a lot of, um, You'll see a lot of the, 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 the Tim Holtz just like that. So, <laughs> Barbara, you were a distraction. <gasps> ah! All right, so let's get going here. Um, all right, so now we're just going to put some flowers on here. Good morning, Stephanie. How are you? All right, so these are just flowers. These are flowers, uh, guys. These are from Hobby Lobby. They are in the paper craft section. Um, I love them because... They're paper instead of, um, you know, that's, you know, the silky material that you can get from, um, you know, in the floral section. And also, I do like them that the leaves come separately, if you can see. And then this way, if you want to put a leaf someplace, and they even come, look, guys, with the big leaves, right? So you can put them wherever you want. Thank you. I had a lot of allergy. That's probably it. Thank you. Uh, yes, and they do have it in Hobby Lobby. Um, does anybody know if this is the week that Tim Holtz is on sale? Let me know. So let me know if this is the week that Tim Holtz is on sale. And then I also love these really small ones. These are really pretty. This is this is paper craft also. And um, this is these are probably one of my favorites. I like the big ones too, but I really like the small, tiny ones. And so let me show you what they look like. Aren't they so pretty? Hello, Jacqueline. Yeah, it's still cold here. It's cold in Scotland. It's cold here, too. Did you ever use stickers? Uh, yes, I have. Tim Holtz is never on sale. You know, oh, Dana, um, it used to be. And then I've been noticing that it, every time I go to look, it's not on sale. And I'm just assuming that I'm getting the wrong week. So it's never on sale anymore? Well, if that's the case, then just get it from, get it, get it, um, from um, Amazon. And this way, you don't have to pay. Well, if you put Amazon Prime, you don't have to use your gas. If my my um my Hobby Lobby is an hour away, so I'll just get it from Amazon. Thank you for letting me know. Hello, Linda, Connecticut. Oh, your father-in-law passed away. Well, blessings. I hope everybody um so sorry for your loss. Blessings to you and your family. Papers on sale, papers on sale. Okay, papers on sale. But somebody just said that Tim Holtz is not on sale anymore in, um, hmm, in Hobby Lobby. Oh, no. Joanne has it on sale occasionally. Okay. Joanne's is, about, is you know, almost the same. Ugh. 
not on, you know, um, it's never on sale where I am. Now look at these. Now these are really, really pretty. These are the paper craft ones too. And let me show you the color of them. They look like they haven't been already done in, um, no, you can see them better, in the vintage, not the vintage, but in the Grand Express. So they're like coffee stains already, which I love. So you could get bundles of pink. You can get bundles of the cream and the coffee stain. I just love the way the coffee stain ones look. So we're going to put a couple of flowers right here, just right here in the, in the corner here. And everything looks better in threes. And I think that's going to be perfect, just like that. And she says she pays something for stickers. I didn't get that. Okay, I'll have to read the comments later. You're welcome, Sassafras Creations. I appreciate everybody letting everybody know about your your where you can get your things from. That's wonderful. All right, so let's put these flowers down here. And these are like the ones that it looks like they're coffee stain, guys. How pretty. All right. Now I'm using the glue gun with these instead of the glue stick because we really want them to give stronger hold. Seems like Nancy says only their items are on sale. That's getting to be everywhere. Even um, I'm finding Kohl's. Nothing's on sale that you want. Like my son likes um, Nike and, and all that kind of brand and that's never on sale. It's only the, the Kohl's brand. I don't know. I don't know. So it's... Uh, Seems like that it's like that all over, Nancy. But it used to be that Tim Holtz, and that's the week I would go down to Hobby Lobby is when they were on sale. Now, if they're not on sale anymore, the only thing I would really need to go to Hobby Lobby for is my ribbon. So somebody said it might, maybe if the ribbon, but you know, it's so funny because the ribbon, the one in the wedding section is one week and the ribbon by the material section is another week. Oh. oh, somebody says something about uh, Dana. It's, hmm. Okay. Oh. Too many things you got to remember. <laughs> but things are on sale. Oh, my God. What I usually do is I go on my computer and I, and I like, if I'm looking for... Um, a certain ribbon or something like that, I go on my computer and I take a look and I see if it's on sale. And then I know. Maybe Pam, yeah, he's selling a lot now. Yeah, it's big, it's big. But even though, you know, sometimes Hobby Lobby, it's only a couple cents more, uh, cheaper. And for me to drive an hour with the prices of gas nowadays, so it doesn't pay for me um, to drive that far when I can just let Amazon just drop it off at my door. <gasps> Look, guys, guys, isn't that the pretty, so cute? Good morning, everyone. Thank you, Nay. I just love it. And this is just made out of an old envelope that I just got in the mail yesterday. Isn't that so cute? Now, of course, the back, now, now remember, you still can fill it with whatever you want. I don't close, I'm not going to close this because if, if I want to, to say, I don't know, even Valentine's Day or something, put something to, with the theme in it. For it, Maybe if I can find an old flag or something for the holidays, right? You can put that, you can stick that in there. So I'm not gonna glue that down. If you want, and you know that's the only thing you're gonna want in there, then you can be able to glue that down. Oh, they lowered the prices of Tim Holtz? Hmm. <laughs> My sister carries a, Carrie, this would look cute in your little cupboard thing. So, of course, then let's do the back, too. Now, the back, um, let's get, uh, where did I put those? Oh, I don't know where I put those. My little, um, guys, I've got things everywhere. i got to get this place all straightened out. My little, well, we'll use this for now. My little, where did I put them? My little uh, applicators. Oh, gosh. If they were close enough, they would have bit me. All right. These are my new applicators that I just got from Amazon. Guys, love these. These are my favorite um, to apply my inks and applicator brushes. And I like them because you look peeled paint. So the ones that I, you know, whatever I color I use those for, I put them on there. Um, this one is Oak Moss. I'm looking for Ground Espresso. This one's Vintage Photo. Because you never want to mix your brushes, you know, if you don't want to take this and put this in Vintage Photo, you know. 
So, and this one's Grand Express. So, and they're inexpensive. They're only like a, they're like, they end up being like a dollar ten a piece. So, it's just, it's just, they're they're pretty cheap. They're pretty cheap, and it comes the next day. But yeah, so you don't have no idea. I don't know. Like this, this, this is probably not going to be it for it. I'm probably going to go back and say, hmm, if I could put this on there, that on there. But, but for now, now let's do the back of it because you don't want to keep that white too. So you just take this. I've been loving these guys. And these are works. If you saw yesterday when I'm doing, I did the, um, it's, uh, it's on, you can find, catch it on replay. I did stenciling with these and it works really well. I buy from Hobby Online and have it, and have it delivered. Yes, Felicia, I agree. Yeah, just have them deliver. And you know, a lot of times um, Hobby Lobby, um, not always, but they uh, have free delivery. So... You know, for a certain amount of, you know, you got to spend a certain amount, but so what? I mean, it doesn't take long. <laughs> Especially, like, if, for me, if I'm looking for ribbon and stuff. It doesn't take long. Now, see what I, look, look what I'm doing in the back. See? And that's just, it's just aging it out. These things are really wonderful. I'm just loving them. Just loving them. And I know we had a, someone say um, the Dollar Tree has them, but this, you know, the Dollar Tree, you get one, but... Um, this ends up being cheaper than the Dollar Tree because these are not, these are less than the $1.25 a piece. You know, with that $1.25 now, some things aren't as cheap there anymore. You can get them cheaper other places. But look how, look, see how it ages it out. Just love that. Hey, Carol Mansbury, how are ya? Thanks for coming on. I appreciate it. So this is, save these ladies when you're, you're getting your mail, save them. Um, we're going to be using them for other projects, too, in the future, um, especially if you get ones where they have the big cellophane piece right there. Save that. Yeah, I know. They stopped putting some certain things on sale. Now, one thing, I could, now Michaels, guys, I don't know if you know about Michaels. They up their game. Now, if you belong to the rewards program, they send you 40% off coupons, um, and that's on things that are not on sale, like resin and, and um, anything that's not on sale. You get 40% off, so try Michael's. And also, <laughs> you've seen your Citizens Discount, 55 and older. You get 10% off your order every single time you go in. So um, all you need to do is you just walk in with your license. They put you in their system, and then every time you go, you get 10% off your entire order. Um, for seniors, 55 and older. So I don't know. Um, I know Michaels doesn't have everything that Hobby Lobby has, but you know they have enough. So and they do send you with if you belong to the rewards program, they send you stuff all the time. And then if you spend a certain amount of money, they send you five dollars. How do you find my link tree, uh, Felicia? Just go on my Facebook page, um, and as soon as you go on there, on the left hand side, you'll see a little bit of intro information. You'll see my website there, and you'll see my link tree there. And also, guys, I think right down below, I think, guys, let me know with hearts down below. Do you see a link tree button? It might even be on there. Uh, it might be, the link should be there. I don't know. Sometimes I go to do it and it's on there and sometimes it's not. Yes, Dollar Tree is not always the cheapest. So be careful what you're buying there. Especially now, you know, they don't think a dollar twenty-five is, you know, oh, it's only dollar twenty-five cents, but it makes a difference when it all adds up when you got like, you know, 20 things in your cart. It adds up. It's not there? Okay, thank you. Okay, so just go on my Facebook page, guys, um, when we're done here, and it should be right on there. But there we go. So that's our project for today. Isn't that so cute? Made out of just an envelope. Plain envelope that you get in the mail every day that you usually just throw away. Look how cute, guys, right? Adorable, adorable. Thank you, Suzanne. So everyone, thank you so much for joining me today on my segment with Craft Around the Clock. Um, remember, <coughs> excuse me guys, boy, the al it's really allergy season in New Jersey. Oh, it is on the bottom of the screen. <coughs> okay guys, my, my link is on the bottom. So my link tree will open up. It'll have, where, where I'm affiliate, all my affiliates are in there and you just press the one that you're looking for and it'll take you right there. I appreciate it. All right, so this is our craft for today. Um, 
We want to also remember to keep our fancy friends. Hold on. There we go. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, you can see me. We want to make sure we keep all of our fancy friends in your prayers, guys. I would so appreciate it. Thank you, Jennifer, for popping in today. I appreciate it. <clears throat> um, we remember we to, we, to keep Sandy, her son-in-law, um, just found out he has got cancer. Keep her, um, him in your prayers. Um, Terry's... Um, granddaughter keep her in your prayers and remember guys if you'd like to have anybody um, on the prayer list please please private message me on my facebook page and i would uh, we would love to have them on our uh prayer list but um god knows who needs them okay so prayers to uh to all and oh we have tammy on here <clears throat> thank you tammy tammy's going to be coming on our facebook page guys tammy <clears throat> From Form Flex, I will be posting the news about that. We are so excited to have her as a guest. Hi, Carol. Hello, Deborah. Hello, Pam. Everybody, have a blessed, blessed day. And go grab yourself an envelope and create some beautiful home decor for your home. All right, everybody. I love you all. And uh, I will see you tomorrow, everyone. All right, everybody. <laughs>